Take the triangle. Right to the artery. <coughs> Long Bindu's had a filter that gives it there. It was Dapper Shot. Time is late, let me slow down. Or it looks slower. <laughs> So, some of you are probably wondering about the videos I made recently. I am the top martial artist, and I have sworn time and time again that I will fight for honor and honor my ancestors. And so the white man controlling reproduction, I swear to God, for all my ancestors, and my family that I love so much, is the problem in my life, to the point where I put my own mother on the interview. Don't believe me? Look at the interview. I, it has its own playlist. I'd like to give a shout out to my JFF brothers on that note. I mean, no disrespect to white people. I love the white members of my family. And soon I'll have white people on camera responding to my question. Honestly, if they think I would let the New World Order push around Vikings and other white people. And if they think I don't, or the thought of that doesn't make me want to. The thought of human trafficking any race and certain ones, well, let's just say we all have an affinity for our own and people who think like us. With that being said, I'd like to give a shout out to my real North Siders, my real homies from back in the day, I forgive you. Um, we had a, our misunderstanding, had to do with communication, and that's why I was in Santa Cruz County Jail. I'm sorry if I talk fast or you think that there's something wrong with me, uh, um, other than a broken heart. Um, that's, you know, it was that which would land me in jail. I live in the middle of nowhere. And the white man controls reproduction and it's hard on me and hopefully by the time any real women that i really would care about their penis <laughs> i'll be dead the government will have poisoned me or did something with plausible deniability that causes controversy i'm not gonna hurt myself or anyone else but i'm gonna try my best to stay home more because i feel so rejected by society and so trapped in with the sixes and nines everywhere um santa cruz is a nine city generally speaking their spirit is nine. Uh, I've proven that in recent videos. And I do have an affinity for the nines. And part of me wishes I could play with their women in secret society lodges. But I'm a man of God. And I cannot take my soul like that. I'd rather cut my throat from ear to ear right now. I don't know why you people hate me so much that you know, none of my people will stand with me. And I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that no beautiful black women said, you know what? You're right. And I want to be with you. I'll never forget that women try to get me to sell, but I want you to treat fat, uh, 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 women that you call fat, you know, overweight women with respect. And, you know, I have a lot of them uh, close to my heart in my family and out. And, you know, I never meant them any disrespect. Um, the gay community, uh, some of you see it my way. And if you understand that the philosophies that support the mainstream gay movements put you at odds with me. So when you live in that community, especially, you're part of their temple, their spirit, the nine. The only way to be a seven these days is to separate. That is why mental illness, uh, excuse me, that's why they describe mental illnesses in a certain way, the symptoms, and it comes straight from corporations and psychiatric consultants for corporations in the American Psychiatric Association, the APA, American Psychiatric Association, Pfizer, Abbott, when is an Abbott, a priest, a monk, he controls reproduction, telling you when to have sex and when not, interpreting God's law. And they want to have Rome's law from Ivy League schools instead of your culture. And that's why I call them vultures. They're making you suggestible and having their way with your women. And recently, I'm going to be honest, brutal honest, I've seen this one woman who was very beautiful, right? And they put this Tinder on Tinder. They gang stalked me. As, you know, some of you have trouble with that. Just like, okay, Cupid, it's about control. So the reason why we value sparring, think of the knife, right, being on point as opposed to choking somebody out in a way that is reflecting emotion. What do kids do? They roll on the ground and wrestle, and you say, break it up, and they might have thrown one punch or so. That is animalistic, that is lower nature before they are raised correctly or incorrectly. If they grow up fighting the same way, what does it say about them now? 
I'd like to give a shout out to all my UFC brothers that see it my way. Tito Ortiz, I have love for you. Cain Velasquez. Um, people do seem to be insulting me on your behalf. I don't know why. I will throw that out there. Believe it. You know, do what you got to do. Anyone who's got a problem with me, I don't believe any of you have a problem with me. And I know there's a good chance you will never hear this video. Okay? So I believe in using spears and swords because of my leopard style, which is pervasive. And it is a great insult to be the top martial artist and to have them want, want you to pretend while you're going to the place, the, the liberal strongholds, and seeing beautiful women. And they say, we can have compassion for you. But you know 100% that they aren't attracted to you. And when you bother to clean up and get on point, on point, maybe rent a car, they'll still reject you. Can you imagine being me? I'm not saying that looks are everything. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying I believe in natural attraction. And I believe that that's part of natural law. My right to determine who I want to be with and not have someone plot behind my back and play Roman matchmaker on behalf of the Latins, Latinos, JFEFs, APEFs, Bulls, bullshit motherfuckers, Greco, Roman, Hellenization, Apes, Serapis, Hades, bitches, uh, the Wolves, the Romulus and Remus, came and Nabal, motherfuckers. And I go over this time and time again in my videos in the last three or four months, not only because some of it I didn't put up together uh, until recently, and I'm not perfect, I don't know everything, I'm not initiated, but you can pretty much track my progress through my videos. And you can see why I was stuck on their perspective, constantly listening to my brothers and my parents. And my mind was clouded by the fact that my family has loyalty to them on some level, to the point they have that for whatever reason, my dad never told me my importance. All he told me is that long ago, I had a family member who challenged the white man with a spear, and he was a king. And he told me in a way that I didn't know if he was bullshitting me or not. It wasn't until my brother returned from Nigeria, from my grandmother's funeral, that they told me it is true. So all this is related to my forefathers, my grandmother, my parents. And the big brother knows this is true, and some of you might not know it's true, okay? The Igbo man, the Obi man, okay? The first son, okay? I'm not trying to disrespect anyone, man, but Ari is a key person in the Bible. And he was a martial artist of Judah descent that met with other tribes. And some of them were Egyptians. Okay? Now, I know a lot of you, you think it's okay to say the Bible isn't true. But that's like me saying, you know what? Your Native American, you know, Lakota culture is bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. And I'm going to fucking piss on it. You know, your Viking culture is bullshit. You're Japanese, okay? So the more you push at the Afro-Asiatic uh, to say the Bible isn't true, and, and, and the people who are controlling the other perspective saying that take on our Roman perspective, the more I'm going to insult your people. And I promise to God I will treat anyone fairly who treats me fairly according to my scale. The problem here is I am smarter than all of you because I am the top martial artist with all due respect, Lord. This is what I believe. And I know that you have guided me and all the, all the splendor and glory goes to you. But that is the problem. My view is superior naturally and it, in tune with nature. I couldn't have a superior dance form, for example, without being more in tune with the beat. I have superior martial arts because I'm more in tune with the will of God. And if, I, if my motivations were evil, and that was why, you would know. But I'm persecuted and I have over 15 witnesses and I deserve my respect. I think I've decided I will start this video with a short poem. Thank you.